Freddie Wooten walked to the front door of his new storm shelter. A year ago, tornadoes killed 30 people in his county. While he and his wife waited out those twisters in City Hall, Wooten wanted a closer refuge. When you see that, that'll make you think about it. So I just, uh, we talked it over and we just built, started building a storm shelter. Across the Great Plains, Midwest and South, companies that provide shelters can barely keep up with demand. But Wooten didn't want to wait. The Federal Emergency Management Agency and states have been providing money for shelters. In Alabama, the state has approved just under half of 4,300 applications for grants. $4,200 is what I have in it. That's, uh, so, you know, that's, that's probably a little more than what you could buy one for. But this, I know what I've got with this one. Wooten is proud of what he's built and said it could easily hold a dozen or more people. It's 8 by 12. Uh, it's got a 40-inch hall. You sev go in one door and then seven foot back is another door. And uh, I've got a lot of rebar in it, three-quarter and half inch, and eight inches of concrete all over. And uh, under-drained where it won't let, you know, water will come in it or anything. And Wooten says this backyard haven has calmed the fears of his wife. She feels safe now. If we're off and it comes a storm, she wants to go home. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.